What up, what up? It is Saturday. Alright, alright. Enough of that. Anyway, first of all, let me go ahead and just say thank you guys. Thank you guys. All the people that subscribed in, in my A1 day ones. And I never quite said thank you. Um, I guess I was kind of shy like that. I'm not really quite a shy person, but... Mm, I just, I really appreciate you guys, and especially all the people that um, encouraged me and said, just keep going with your content. I never said thank you, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's jump into this shit. You know what I was thinking about the other day? I was like, you know what I never covered? Let's talk about the narcissist and photographs. Any kind of photographs, any photos. Photos are so important to that narcissist, dude. Photos will actually give you a lot of information. And um, they just, they speak volumes. So, um, and they also help the narcissist. Let's talk about these photographs. What am I talking about? God, there's so much to go into. I hope I have enough time. But photographs recently... Um, even though I have him blocked, um, somehow he forced his way into my TikTok, which I then blocked again, right? Because I never saw his videos. But when his video popped up and I saw his icon photograph, it's a fucking picture that he doesn't even look like anymore, right? Of him. And the background is my fucking mirror on my wall. I even still have that mirror. But he's never lived here. But I had that mirror in the last apartment that we did live at together, right? And I'm like, what the fuck? And he's wearing shit that he borrowed from me. Like suspenders that I used to wear. A t-shirt I used to wear. Um, one of his icons, um, profile pics was a, a hat that's mine that I still have that he borrowed, right? And I'm like, wow. So... The narcissist will straight up use photos that not only are in your house where if you really look hard instead of crying and being like, oh my God, I can't believe they're on TikTok and Instagram and boogie da da da. Be a detective, my girl, my dude. Be a detective, motherfucker. All right. You know why? Because if you're a detective, start looking at them backgrounds and be like, hold up. I bet you'll find out. I bet you'll notice that background looks very familiar, doesn't it? Or for my country folks, looks familiar, don't it? Right? It's going to be more than likely somewhere in your fucking home that they don't even live at anymore. But they still use that old as fuck image where they were doing good because they were with your ass. That they use the photographs from where they were with yo ass. Okay, and use that picture to attract more supply as if they got it like that when they really don't. They're, they don't even fucking live there. That shit, all the nice shit in the background is your shit. And they're not even with you anymore. Right? I was like, what the fuck? That's my mirror in the background. What? Damn, that picture was taken four years ago. Right? And you're like, what the fuck is this? And those are my clothes. Or that's my t-shirt. Fuck. Then, let's not just, um, not just that, right? How many of you noticed that we'll go, when you were together, of course, and you look at each other's social media, because you more than likely posted them on your social media, right? change your little relationship status not that it matters right but it does let's not lie we, we like that shit right and then you look at theirs and their shit still says single and you approach them and you're like babe why does it still say single and it's a picture of them holding their own camera going with their shirt off or some shit or if it's a woman some some uh, I don't know, intentional sexual picture and they're by themselves in a mirror like, ugh. People that do that shit, that's fucked up. And I bet when you search and sift through their social media, guess what you don't see? You don't see your ass there, do you? 
If you see your ass on their social media, it's because they created another account just to appease you by saying, look, babe, that here's nothing but pictures of me and you and my relationship status says married in a relationship, whatever, right? But that will only be that because they made that just to show you. But what the public is seeing is that real social media account where they're in the mirror taking selfies and all of it's some Kardashian shenanigan ass bullshit, right? Like, look at me, look at me. This is me eating. This is me popping and locking to the song. This is me, right? You'll never be in it, right? So, and, and the only reason why they even make that separate social media account with you in it is because more than likely you had some kind of knockdown, drag out, fight ass argument where you were like, I'm tired of this shit. Like, why are you posting pictures of you shirtless and shit and your relationship status still says single? We've been together. We're married or whatever the shit. We got a kid or whatever your situation is. They only focus on themselves. I'm going to try to cover all of it in a short amount of time. Um, there's also this thing where, like, they, they will have you take photos of them, but they'll never take a photo with you and put you in the social media accounts, right? Up in the public eye, right? You'll be helping them, like, take a photo of me looking like this, and they'll be doing all this, like, uh, right? But then when you actually, again, look through their social media there are zero photos of you. It'll be those photos that you took really nicely. But you have to actually, like, pin them to the ground. Possibly, literally, to be like, Hey, babe, I've been taking all these photos of you. Can I, And you're posting them. And yeah, they look good, right? But can I be in one of those with you? Because no one seems to know that I exist on your social media accounts. Is it cool if we take a photo together? And even if they take a photo with you, it's it could be one of you kissing. Uh, my ex narc did that, but it was also posted on that separate account. Not what he's putting on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or especially Snapchat. If a motherfucker is... is I don't even do Snapchat. But if a motherfucker is only Snapchatting you, that nigga is a motherfucking whore, bro period like don't even try to convince yourself that i'm telling you a lie because it's not they're a whore and you should get off snapchat okay so they'll do that shit right but otherwise they don't really post too many like hugged up photos on their main ass accounts right ever and if they do post a picture of you the caption underneath won't be like oh my beautiful bride or my baby my my awesome baby my the love of my life it'll be like really awesome time at this art show bro or something like that because you look unimportant because you aren't important to them that's one thing then here's here's another story time uh, oh and they will argue you down for asking them to remove the uh, shirtless, topless, for it like guys, you know, that be like uh, shirtless and stuff, taking photos with their phone. First of all, that's a bitch move. Don't do that shit. Don't nobody want to see your dumbass chest. I don't give a fuck how beefy it is or whatever. If I see it, it should be because it's in our personal bedroom. Okay? If you're going to put it out there for everybody else to see it, you're a fucking whore and you should kill yourself. Anyway, so, other than that, okay, um, I remember, here's a quick story time, after my ex-narc was gone, right, I have been interested in, um, a long time acquaintance, and, um, he expressed interest in return, right, but then when I started, like, looking through his social media and really really analyzing the shit and it wasn't really hard to analyze it wasn't much to analyze it was right there i realized he was a fucking narcissist all he had was pictures of him against his nice car always either shirtless or dressed you know head to toe where the hat matched shoes matched the shoelaces and your boots matched the whatever the fuck matched the car interior kind of thing but there were full-bodied images of him, right? And I'm like, 
I mean, you're not a photographer. And so you damn sure wouldn't have one of those, like, photograph, like, camera stands where, like, you just time it and roll. No, a lot of his photos were full body, right? At places like Cherry Blossom Festival. I'm at the Cherry Blossom Festival. Now, what dude, straight dude, hits up a Cherry Blossom Festival, okay? Unless he's with a bitch. Let's be real. Ain't no nigga about to go out there and be... And be Playing like Bambi through no motherfucking flowers and shit. Unless he's with a bitch. Be real. And then to see your whole body in that photo in the cherry blossoms. A bitch took that picture, dude. Get get real with what the fuck you are looking at. Do not get jealous. Just analyze that shit. Especially in your future, you know, encounters or whatever. Check through that social media manifest. If you find even one photo of them shirtless... Or one photo of them holding the camera by themselves as a fucking man in the mirror like, and all that shit. No. And especially watch out for them full body images. Because them full body images means another motherfucker took it. And it doesn't matter if a, if a dude took it, then he's fucking gay, dude. Then he's, he's a DL boy ass bitch. Because why is a man taking a full body picture of another man in some cherry blossoms like this? And also, why would another man be taking a, a picture of another man, like, leaning on his car, like, look at this, or with his chest out, or working out, and all this shit. And then, if it's not another man, it's some bitch took it, man, because that bitch lived with him. That's his, he's in a relationship. I mean, same goes for women. Women take more selfies in general, but you still gotta watch out for the ones and thirst trap ass bitches that gotta take a selfie like this, with their titties out and shit. You know what I mean? You got to watch out for that shit. And watch out for the motherfuckers that don't want to put you in any of their photos without a fucking fight. Or they just still don't do it at all. Or the caption, again, will say something that's more like bro code shit. Like, hey, this is my girl. But it could be anybody, you know. Not like, this is my the love of my life. This is my girlfriend. My fiance. My, my boo thing. Whatever. It'll just be something random. Just like that. That's how that shit works. And the narcissist, and again, remember what I first said in the beginning of this. Don't be surprised if you see that they have an icon on any of these social media accounts where the background of that motherfucker is your house. Or your car. Or wearing your shit. Or you took it. And the relationship been over. But they use that shit all the time. No. Nah. Photographs will let you know what kind of person that person is, where they stand with you, and where you're going or where you're not going. Anyway, I just had to throw that out there because I was like, the fuck? All right. Love y'all, though.